Good morning, everyone. So I have a really busy work day today and an even busier work day tomorrow. So I just dropped the kids off at school and now I'm gonna run into Aldi and do some grocery shopping. I probably won't film in there, but I'll definitely be sure to show you guys a grocery haul when I get home. Let's do it. Okay, I just got home from Aldi. I didn't do a gigantic grocery haul. Dan and I have a tendency to overbuy at the grocery store and then we don't make everything. So things just get shoved in the freezer. You know how it goes. So we actually made a meal plan this week to the dinners that we definitely want to have for dinner. And we wanted to make sure that we got things that could make like extras for lunch. So I'm going to show you what I got. I'm also going to show you my awesome shirt. Yep another christmas shirt <laughs> i really can't help myself florida's warming up we had a cold front but it's warm outside i really could be in shorts and flip-flops so let me show you what i have here and i hope that it gives you some ideas uh we got a lot of really great dinners planned so i think you're gonna like it okay first let's start with vegetables i was super happy to see that romaine lettuce is back at aldi it's been gone for weeks so i was really excited about that Romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce, some yellow onions, some Roma tomatoes, some green beans. We're going to do the deep fried green beans in the air fryer this week. I got some frozen chopped spinach, some bell peppers, garlic. I'm going to make marinara this week, so I needed this. Then a couple bags of frozen veggies because we still had a good amount in the freezer. I did Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and this broccoli and cauliflower blend. God, I need a manicure. I got some banana peppers, butter, ricotta cheese, sour cream. I got so much cheese, don't make fun of me. <laughs> Goat cheese, Monterey Jack, sharp cheddar. Then I got a couple packs of sliced cheese. I did Colby Jack and mozzarella. We're gonna do chicken parm this week, so that's what this is for. I got some string cheese for snacks. All these block cream cheese was on sale for 50 cents a block. We go through this like crazy, so I picked up, oh, three. I thought I got four, but three. Unsweetened almond milk. Then here's the meat. I got some pepperoni for snacks. Bologna. This is actually for Lincoln. It has uh, two net carbs per slice, so if I was really in a pinch, I would eat a slice or two of this, but I don't eat this very often. This is more for Lincoln. Then some smoked uncured ham. We absolutely love this lunch meat. It's so low carb. It's two carbohydrates for six slices of ham, which is really low. Bacon. Italian sausage. A huge pack of ground beef. This is gonna make a couple different dinners. I got a small pork butt. This will go in the crock pot. And then I got a huge pack of chicken breasts. It's like five and a half pounds and it was only 10 bucks. Then I got a couple of large cans of crushed tomatoes. This will be for my marinara. And then I picked up another jar of these fire roasted tomatoes that we use in the chili because I love to have it on hand. So that's it. Nothing crazy. It's about a week's worth of dinners for us. The cheese supply is ridiculous because we just always like to have a ton of cheese on hand and we were really low in the cheese drawer. So that's it. I get a lot of requests to do my grocery hauls and the reason that I don't do them very often is because the majority of the time I am shopping for us and I'm also shopping for the kids. So there's a bunch of kid food, obviously a ton of non-keto items and I just don't always like to show those because it's a pain in the butt to separate it all. But today was super easy, I basically just did keto groceries. So all of this food that you see here cost me right around just under $100. I think that is a ton of food for $100. I feel like if I went and did that at any grocery store other than Aldi, it would have been more like $150. Maybe even more than that. 
the meat is so inexpensive and we've had really good luck with it so i hope you loved this aldi haul and i hope that it gave you a couple of ideas of things that oh you know what i forgot to show you i also got pork rinds all these pork rinds are really good and they're really inexpensive. I had already thrown those in the pantry before I did this, but we're gonna use the pork rinds to bread chicken parm this week. So I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. I'll talk to you guys soon.